purpose of this movement leader is to obtain theater quality. Just sound, keep the volume, as the project, white dots flash, the picture will... Uh, uh, that's a gen gen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, welcome to the step-by-step -step guide on how to be an Islamophobe. I'm your host, Graham Jarvis. Number one, don't pronounce things properly. For example, Muslim is pronounced as Muslim. Islam is pronounced as Islam. Nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Graham Jarvis. And my name is Ahmed. A Ahmed? Ahmed. 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 I can actually pronounce his name, but because I'm an Islamophobe, I have to get it wrong, you see. <laughs> Ahmed. Ahmed. All right, we're gonna stick with Ahmed. <laughs> Number two, make sure anytime you see anyone brown, label them as a Muslim. Doesn't matter if they actually are or not. That's besides the point, man. Muslim, 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 Muslim. Number three, take any verse of the Quran which has the word kill in it. Make sure it's out of context and then copy and paste it on any Islamic video on YouTube. Are you talking about killing non-Muslims in that book of yours? No, it means I'm, I'm reading about the being oneness of Allah. As you can see, he's talking about killing non-Muslims in his book. Number four, practice your school face in case you do see any of these Muslims. For example... <laughs> oh! Number five, even though most of them are born in this country, don't forget to tell them to go back home. Can I help you? Hi. Go back home, Muslims. Is that curry? Can I get some? Number six, take an incident done by a naive Muslim and blame it on the whole religion. Make sure you keep repeating it like the Nazis did. Make sure to take everything that the Muslim does out of context. Here you can see him mowing the lawn, but that's not what we write in the media. We say, here this Muslim is attacking the grass. And number seven, don't read the Quran, but in verse 759.9 recurring, it says that you can and you should, especially pigeons. And when you debate with a Muslim, don't listen to his side of the story, because we're not really interested in the truth, are we? Well, Muslim! It says in the Quran to kill non-Muslims wherever you see them, does it not? Well, I don't really care about your opinion. That's how you debate with a Muslim. Congratulations! You are now an Islamophobe! Happy Islamophobing! If you want to watch more of me, Graham Jarvis, tune in to our next DVD, where we will tell you how to do Islamophobing abroad. And remember, please donate, because, well, it costs a lot of money to be Islamophobic, you see. See you next time! on how to be an Islamophobe. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> what it says in the Quran, but not to coo. <laughs> not to coo? <laughs> Are you some sort of pigeon? Have you read the Quran? <laughs> <gasps> no, I haven't. So what did you... I see. <laughs> Trying to hide what it says in the Quran. My name's Graham. What's my son's name again? It's Graham. It's Graham Jarvis. My name's Graham Jarvis. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Smile to Jannah. I thought I'd try the series out and call it The School of Life.